Hi everyone, this is Laura with Laughing Dogs Book Nook, and I'm bringing you my first ever Halloween journal, and I call her Boo. She is nine inches tall by five inches wide, and she has a two inch spine and four signatures. She's held together with this gorgeous silver gray dark sari silk and this wonderful glittery paper, which is why I, I use the glittery letters. And there's just a little bit of um, cheesecloth to make it look like uh, spider webbing and then some flowers and this little 1950s Halloween disc. And so she is a wraparound journal. I think Doodle is gonna help me tell you about her. He appears to be very, very busy in the background. As we open her up, you see that she has this beautiful uh, bow bunny paper. And then this is some Tim Holtz fabric. I did sew the signatures into fabric. And um, then I came over the top with paper. And that is so that all these bins are in fabric. There may be paper on top, but the bins themselves are in fabric, so you're not gonna have cracking. And they're gonna wear better, wear longer, I believe. So here we have a double pocket made from book page paper and uh, just a couple of tags, which of course from this angle I can't do. And a uh, little piece on front. This is the first signature and I'm using some elements from Calico Collage's Halloween. Um, Hallowed Felines, I believe it's called. But I've also collaged on top of this so that it is three-dimensional with the flower, the Rick Rack. Some of the, each, each front of a signature has a sticker that you could write something on there if you wanted to. And we come inside and we see that I've used part of a layaway ticket as a holder for a charm. This one's a pumpkin. And this is one of Mrs. Cog's the Black Cat series um, images, and I just love it. And as we flip that back, there's a plastic pocket with a tag in it, and it just says Bugs and Kisses. And we're gonna go on by. I've done some digital stamping in here, and this is coffee dyed or tea dyed paper. All the papers, coffee or tea dyed. And this is from a little golden book. It says, or where you hang if you're a bat. And again, just some stamping, steno book. This is, uh, each signature is going to have a bag in it, and that'll be a wonderful place to stuff full of your knickknacks or Halloween memories. And uh, some journaling cards in here, held together with a paper clip with some trim and sari silk. And I have tabs in here, fabric and lace tabs. and some eco dyed papers. So here's a fabric pocket that's holding a big tag that I decoupaged, uh, decoupaged, I did not decoupage this, collaged. For some reason I can't talk today. And it just has some trims and papers and, and uh, cats, oh my. And this is a uh, paper clip if you wanna take it off. And uh, so it's just a, uh, a useful clip, as Winnie the Pooh would say. So that just goes down in there. And we have the first of the fabric flips, and I'm using some of these gorgeous medallions that I got from Selena at Amour Fabriques. And uh, so that's on some purple lace. And then here's some fabric on the page. And of course, this can all be taken apart and utilized in a different way so that you can make your journal your own. Each signature has uh, some what I call pattern paper. Other people call it scrapbooking paper. It's a little thicker paper with a design. And I put it in here on purpose so that you could put your Halloween photos in this area. Look at all these sides that you've got that you can put photos into. Just fabulous. So many areas 
And so each signature has that. And plenty, plenty of space for you to put down your Halloween memories or your memories of things going on in October. Some more ego dyeing. And just, uh, here's the other side of that wonderful bag. Lots of room. And another journaling card. But then look at all this space for you to put things into. I'm just trying to keep it as blank as I can, which is almost impossible because I love to embellish, but um, so that you can come in and do what you want to. Again, I've taken a basic cover and then I have collaged all these different elements on top of it and put one of my, oh, I'm going to forget what the kind of, it's a shell, abalone, abalone button on there with some vintage rickrack and some other items. And uh, love the colors, love, love, love the colors in this eco dye paper. It's got the oranges and all. And hopefully in a week or so, I will be doing some eco dyeing with my elephant ears. I have to harvest them first. I have to get in there and do battle with them because some of them are eight feet tall and they're kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to get in there and harvest and then go from there. This is from a magazine. I just thought that was really cool looking and kind of Halloween-ish. And here's a tuck spot. This is another of Mrs. Cog's The Black Cat images. Just love her images. And so I've just put a, a little card in the, I mean a tag in there and then back in that plastic pocket, y'all, so you know it's there. I put another tag back there with some Tim Holtz washi tape. <laughs> And you have a broom charm for this signature. Each signature has a charm as well. And uh, so here's a, a journaling card and we have it held together with a paper clip with some sorry silk and some beautiful fibers. And those come from Denise at A Tattered Dream. Thank you, Denise. Love, love, love her stuff. It's really something. Again, lots of room for photos, should you wish to go that route. And paper for journaling your thoughts. This is from a magazine. Just thought it looked kind of like a Halloween mask. More room. And here's a little tuck spot for you to put things into, should you want to. And another tag. And this is one of... Uh, my uh, two um, embellished, yeah, that's the word, embellished paper clips. So that's one. Just bring that up here. Excuse my hands, they're not only tea dyed, but they also have the black soot, Tim Holtz distress ink all over them. So they're just lovely. And this is another tag, and I back my tags with tea dyed paper. Thank you, Doodle. And so here's the beginning of another, and it's got the rickrack and a tag with a rusty safety pin and a sticker for you to write on should you want to, if you want to label each of your signatures with something different. And this is another of Mrs. Cog's, and let's get in the screen, Laura. Another of Mrs. Cog's images from the Black Cat. Just love those, and that flips up. And then you have, of course, that plastic pocket with a tag in it. And this, the fourth signature, excuse me, the third signature has an owl. And here's a magazine piece with witch costumes. And here's a fabric pocket with a tag. And of course, this is a paper clip. I have two that are over the top embellished paper clips and then two paper clips that are just like this that have a little something on them. And it says trick or treat. And I have sewn, this is sorry silk that I just simply twisted up and then did a, a zigzag stitch onto the um, Graphic 45 paper. I'm very stingy with my Graphic 45 paper. <laughs> just a little bit in there. <laughs> Another, this beautiful three-dimensional image of a leaf on there, that's so pretty. Another one of Selena's beautiful medallions on the lace and then some fabric on there to do with as you will and more photo opportunities the seven gypsies paper 
love that color on there. And another journaling tag with some sorry silk and fiber. I believe that may be cotton fabric, not sorry silk on that one. And the calico corner, calico collage paper. Love the stenciling. And this is the back of the magazine page, and it's just got a little tuck spot here with some tags. And this is another um, embellished paper clip that I have put a journaling card on too. It's got some crocheted lace that's orange and an orange flower and then this cute little witch hazel label, like from a bottle. And this is the fourth signature. It's got a tag with some flowers. And this has, each of them has a label. Here's the label. If you wish to glue it on, you can, or you don't have to. It's just, it's just paper clip there because I wasn't sure where people might want to put it. I love May I Be Frank, like Frankenstein. And some antique Rick Rack and flowers there. And we have another tuck spot with one of Mrs. Cog's beautiful, beautiful images and some graphic 45 paper tag and then some Tim Holtz back in the back there and his washi tape. And there's a spider charm for this one. A little digital stamping on that tea dyed paper and some tabs. Here's another gorgeous, gorgeous. These are just so gorgeous and glittery, glittery <laughs> on some black lace and this wonderful. Here we've got the vampire and the bride of Frankenstein and something is living in her hair. Mm-hmm, you bet. And another wonderful eco dyed page. And this is from a workbook on different lettering, how to learn different ways of lettering. Another area for photographs, should you want to do that. And just a journal card I made out of some, uh, no, actually, Denise at Tattered Dreams sent me that in the um, flow book she sent me. Thank you, Denise. She has wonderful things at a tattered dream. You should go over there, look it up on Etsy. I'll put it in my description. Here's another journaling card with uh, some cotton and some wonderful fiber from Denise's place. It's beautiful greens and yellows and oranges in that fiber. And another tab. This is also um, Tim Holtz fabric. I don't always think to say whose is what's is where. I just want to show you what's in here. Plenty of room to journal. Plenty of cute graphics. And here's another double pocket. And it has some stenciling, uh, some stamping, some stenciling, and um, on book paper. And then a little washi tape on a, I put a grocery ticket in there. And so there's one ticket, one tag, and here's another tag for it. And this is herself book. And she will be in my Etsy store and uh, up for sale. I want to thank you all for watching and uh, staying tuned. And uh, if you haven't, I'd appreciate it if you could like this video. And if you enjoyed it, if you might subscribe and hit the little bell, and that will tell you when I have more, more videos coming up. I hope you all have a great day. Stay safe. Bye-bye.